So I come to you today on this Monday, October 5th, 2020. And as I just sit here and think, I always got topics in my head or something that I've been thinking about. And today, um, I was thinking about limitations. And limitations, of course, it could be something that we put on ourselves, somebody else. Uh, maybe the influence of putting limits on us. So my question for you today is, are you putting limits on yourself? Are there limitations that you you put on yourself? You're like, oh, no, I'm too old. It's too late. I can't do that. Um, I'm not good enough. Oh, my God, I'm shy. You know, like, um, and I'm in this zone, this comfort zone, you know. Um, those are limits that we're, we're putting on ourselves, Uh, and sometimes we just got to get out of our way. There is no set time for you to get anything done. I mean, really, there's no rush, but it's the limits that we place on ourselves. We think that we have to get, you know, get this done in the next um, two years or whether it be schooling, I mean, it could be a job, it could be anything like, oh yeah, I was going to write this book and I need to do it today. I need to do it all in one day. No, no, you don't take your time. There's no rush. I mean, I know we're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised next week, next month, but do what you can do today. Placing limits on yourself only puts you in a, a headspace where you get stressed out, you can get burned out, and you can feel like a failure. And we know the best way to success is to fail your way to the top. But anyway, the, the whole thing is, why are we placing limits on ourselves? If someone is doing that to you, don't you don't have to accept that. If someone is saying, oh no, you're too old to, to go um to to keep writing music or to keep dancing singing and all that um no no you're not <laughs> there there is no limits it's only the limits that are placed on us that we allow to be placed on us or that we put on ourselves so i say to you today think about what is limiting you from doing something because we can be our own worst enemies. I'm guilty of it. Self-sabotaging all the time. Saying, oh no, I, you know, I just feel like I'm not good enough. Or um, because you, you heard somebody say something so much, you feel like you start to internalize it and you believe it. No. You're not too old. You're not dumb. That's not a dumb idea. Um, whatever you have in you. Let it out. Set yourself free. Stop placing limits on yourself. So all I say today is get out of your way. Whatever those limits are, take those limits off of yourself. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next week. But do it step by step by step. Inch by inch is a cinch. Yard by yard is hard. Because if you rush to get it, as fast as you rush to get it, it can be taken away from you just as fast as you got it. So build those little stepping stones, those blocks. It takes time, those little stepping stepping blocks that you have. And if you see somebody that's been successful, you're like, oh my God, they did it overnight. No, they did not. It was all a process. They could have been working on that five years ago, 10 years ago. But the only reason you just see it now is because they're just bringing it to life. That seed was planted. It's brought to life now. So now it's time for that to mature and grow and, and spread its wings. With whatever venture or whatever idea, whatever you have in your mind that you want to do, take those limits off and get moving. So what I say to you today is, I always say, is to continue to live life on purpose. That's the only way to do it. Take care.